Welcome to another informative video from AS Automation Services. Today you will learn all about HMI. Maybe you have not heard of an HMI, but I'll bet you encounter them pretty regularly. HMI is short for Human Machine Interface. We use HMI in industry to control and monitor machine. A very common HMI that you all encounter on a regular basis would be on a ATM machine. The screen and push button allowed you to operate the machine to dispense a certain amount of money or to deposit money. Let's talk about industrial HMI now. It would be hard to have a good automated process in industry without an HMI. Many times, an HMI will be in the form of a screen, kind of like a computer screen. And most of the time, they are actually touch screen. An operator or maintenance personnel can operate and monitor the machine from the HMI. They may include information like temperature, pressure, process step, and material counts. They can also show very precise level in tanks and exact positioning of machine. Where machine information used to be viewed on multiple indicator can now be viewed on one screen. The possibilities are only limited to the software and hardware use. For maintenance personnel, many HMI connect to PLC logic and display it on the screen for troubleshooting purposes. This can save valuable time compared to connecting a computer or laptop every time. Another benefit of having a modern HMI is a plant on other industrial site can monitor and control multiple machine or other equipment remotely a small manufacturing facility could even monitor the entire plant on one central located hmi water treatment and wastewater facilities have utilized this for years by coupling an HMI with a PLC. They are able to monitor remote location like water pump and as well as equipment inside the plant. You probably get the idea now that an HMI is the operating panel and monitoring screen. But how does that HMI actually connected to the machine to be able to control and monitor it? Let's take a look. First, HMI use special software so engineers can pro program them correctly. Different brands of panel use different software accordingly. The software allows the engineer to design what the operator will actually see on the screen, what they can monitor on the screen, what button can be pushed, and how the operator can manipulate the machine. For example, an HMI have a large tank display on the screen with the level of a liquid displayed. Next to the tank is a pump to lower the liquid level. An HMI can also have the start and stop button displayed and usable on the screen next to the pump. This display would be able to actually turn the pump on and off. But it is not as easy just placing a button on a screen or a tank with a level on the screen. The person programming the HMI has to program each indicator and button to a specific input or output addresses of a PLC. This brings up another point. The HMI and PLC need to be compatible. This means they need to able to talk to each other. They do this on what is called a protocol. Different company uses different protocols. Common protocols are like Modbus, Serial, Internet IP, and Profibus. They are all just industrial network, kind of like uh, the network you may have in your home 
with multiple computers tv or devices connected to each other industrial protocol connect the different plc and hmi and other machine to each other protocol information is easily found on each manufacturer's website once the plc and hmi are talking then whatever is programmed into the hmi can be used to monitor and control plc functions Let's review. Today you have learned some of the basic of an HMI or human machine interface. These are monitors and controls of a machine that allow the operator to run a machine on a monitor or machines. Engineers can program an HMI to perform almost any function that can be controlled or P or information that can be monitored by a plc hmi and plc work together to monitor and control the machine this means they have to be compatible and they also have to speak the same language so to speak this come in the form of a protocol which is just an industrial network please stay tuned for another informative video from as automation services make sure that you heard over to asasmai.com to know the type of in-house and on-site training we provide all course structure is downloadable in pdf format for registration you can go to this site to apply for the course you are interested in and we will contact you as soon as possible If you have any question on our training services and project we do you can always contact or email us We offer a quality training with fully equipped training material to assist you in learning PLC programming and landing the job in high paying highly sought after field of automation and control engineering Don't forget to subscribe us and click the bell icon notification for our next upcoming video. Your future awaits.